Hi everyone and welcome in my channel. Today we are going to recreate another smoke effect from Grand Theft Auto 5. And today we are going to look into the smoke from the exhaust of the car. So let's see how it looks. So this is the smoke from the exhaust. It looks really cool. Okay, nice, okay, perfect, I think we already have the reference and let's hop inside Unreal and to recreate it in the smoke from the results for you guys, see you. Okay guys, we're in the engine and I already prepared an effects for you, so this is the exhaust smoke which is attempting from the exhaust here of the car so now let's uh, go in Niagara and do show you how to create it by yourself so okay this is uh, okay it's not my uh, and this was my texture so here okay we are into the Niagara so now let's see what we have here first we have a material which it which consists of sprite sheet uh, which I created you can do it by yourself too uh, through a couple of softwares for example Houdini Ember John or you can download from internet or from the marketplace uh, so here and yeah, this is uh, another basic texture which is created with brush in Photoshop so you can copy the settings here and you can create the same material as me so okay this is our effect and now let's recreate it with you. So let's click here the right button, click add emitter and we'll start with the empty one. So the important thing you have to know, it's our flipbook, it's okay, it's not this one, yep. Here are on this side your 12 and here are 12 too. So uh, in our effect they have to be 12 by 12 here. It's important to know it and not to forget it. So here let's find our material, it's the same material and let's write 12 and 12, ok, perfect. Now let's continue, emitter state have to be system uh, because it's infinite so you can do it self and to increase the time or something like that but here the system is fine for us now. So now let's add the spawn rate, this is the setting which uh, allows us to choose the amount of um, our particles which are going to spawn so let's click spawn rate and here we will spawn between 100 and 150 so how to do it you have to come here to click here the random range float and to write 100 and 150 okay now you can see some of our uh, uh, particles but they are without animation so that's why they looks like this and we have to add some colors and uh, to decrease the opacity and it will look better but for now this is fine so let's continue guys here is the lifetime so if you want to increase the lifetime to last more the particles in your scene in your effect you have to increase here the values if you want to be uh, to, to end faster you will write 1.0.5 uh, and 1 now you can see how fast they are are disappearing so I will bring it to 1 and 2 so let's do it with you now so have to be again random range float okay direct set let's click random and here random range float so it's 1 and 2 here the lifetime max have to be 2 okay perfect uh, we don't need mass mode we don't need cover mode because we are going to add another uh, cover settings here so now we need to add the sprite size to be same like here the, the size of our particle. So we have to come here to non uniform. Uh, let's click here and have to be random range uh, multiply vector to the by float. And now here to float we have to add a random range float. So now we are ready and here we can write 100 and 150. So some of our uh, Particles will be 100, some of them will be 150 or something between these uh, values here. So let's see how it's here. Okay, here it's 
it's the same 100 and 150 okay let's add sprite rotation now okay so to be more realistic we need the sprite rotation okay sprite rotation so direct angle here random range float and let's write <coughs> minus 360 and 360 so we have a full rotation now you can see how bad it looks but don't worry we will fix it okay so let's continue we need a shape location the place where we are going to spawn our particles so now let's add it shape location and have to be like from sphere okay so sphere here it's uh it's sphere and uh, sphere radius is one so here by default it's 100 so you can see how big is this radius and we don't need it so let's decrease it to one okay perfect and here everything have to be one 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 okay everything is fine here for the shape location okay we'll move it here okay good but now we need some animation some uh, velocity to our uh, particles so let's click here the plus button at velocity okay let's click fix issue okay and the velocity have to be linear so we want to make them to go on to the right side because now they are going up so here they are going up because we have 50 to the z position which is up so let's click and write 0 and let's write here minus 15 now you can see how they are going to the opposite direction Okay, let's see is this everything. So the velocity speed cell have to be 0.7 you know to be slower. Okay, good. So now let's continue. Particle state have to be same here, have to be checked. So we need a drag. Drag is the friction and will give more uh, realistic uh, look to our effect. So the drag, uh, I will show you how it works the drag. It, they are on the particles will spawn faster and during the time they will slow down and to be like friction so this is how the drag works let's add drag here oops drag and we need to stop this rotational drag and here it's one let's see okay one and one so here we have acceleration force but we will add it later first let's add the cover so let's see the cover it starts with one okay and with one okay let's what you can do you can add cover from here okay this is the the not the cover but another thing you can do is to just to copy it control c and control v so now you can see when we have a color setting how good it looks it's much better so let's see the color setting so here the color it's basic oops it's the basic it's white okay and everywhere oops everywhere it's white the opacity it's one here the end of the hour animation again it's one so everything have to be white how to uh, create this uh, cover from curve here we'll show you okay this will be the basic uh, um, view of your cover so you have to come here to click cover from curve and now you can work inside okay i will bring it back okay good so now let's stop this one for a second and to see how okay it starts now and increase during the time how we can do it so you need scale sprite size this is the setting which will help us to create these details inside our smoke okay i will stop the first one and to uh, add a scale sprite size scale sprite size okay good so here the scale sprite size have to be vector to the float felt from curve so okay let's move it here okay good uh okay let's see okay here it's non-uniform uh float for, uh, from curve okay good so now uh let's see the values here okay i have to activate it to see them so the beginning it's the scale okay first here is the global scaling of your particles but here is the scale during the lifetime and during the animation of the particles so it's important to make uh, the differences so here the beginning have to be zero, uh, 0 0.2 and the end it's 0 0.63 so here we will do it same so the beginning it's 0 0.2 and then will be 0 0.63 okay now you can see how they start small and they are increasing during the lifetime of your animation okay 
so it's good let's see how it looks inside our viewport it's perfect guys okay we need to add some corrections maybe so okay let's see is it same this is the original one okay what we need we forgot to add this acceleration force uh, this will make our particles to go a little bit up and to be like uh, they are affected by a wind so acceleration force uh, gives us more uh, details and uh, more uh, rea realistic look to our uh, particles so let's add uh, the acceleration force here the okay, acceleration force let's make it random range vector and to see the value so it's minus 50 here okay acceleration force is minus 50 now it's a little bit faster in this way we don't need into the uh, this direction and we need some uh, some force to go up so let's add here 20 and 40 now you can see how it's going up into the end of the lifetime of these particles and let's see how it looks into our report for me it's ready I really like it and yes it's not hard guys to to create it I hope you understand everything and see you into the next videos guys